many problems facing the Mediterranean Sea. We have all heard of the issues with overfishing, warming water temperatures, invasive species, and plastic pollution. But how much do we really know? And what is being done about all of these problems? Hi, I'm Alex Merkel-Raymond, a first-year student at Marist Marine Conservation Master's Program. Since October 2020, I have been working with the Archipelagos Institute of Marine Conservation for my immersion project. Archipelagos is a Greek nonprofit founded in 1998, focused on conservation and research in the Aegean Sea. Many of the most biodiverse areas in the world are also some of the most remote, and an on-the-ground organization is often necessary to promote and protect these remote areas from further degradation and to communicate the urgency of the local issues more broadly across a region. For my immersion project, I focused on the comparison of microplastic accumulation in native and invasive sea urchins of the Aegean Sea. A study conducted in the Gulf of Naples deemed sea urchins as a suitable model organism for the examination of microplastics because of their critical role in the ecosystem. As a keystone species, they have a disproportionately large effect on the other organisms in their environment. Microplastics are small plastic pollutants less than 5 millimeters in size. Estimates suggest that the Mediterranean basin contains between 21 to 54 percent of microplastic particles worldwide. This negatively affects some biological processes, such as feeding, energy reserves, and reproduction. My research project not only looks at the increasing abundance of microplastics, but also looks at another major threat to the Mediterranean Sea, invasive species. Invasive species are a growing threat. More than 5% of the marine species in the Mediterranean are now considered non-native species. Alarmingly, over 986 non-native species live in the Mediterranean, 78% of which are found specifically in the Eastern Mediterranean where my research was conducted. I, and Archipelagos as a whole, will better understand the population structure of the marine protected area around Lipsy Island and the relationship between native and invasive sea urchins and their relative uptake of microplastics. This immersion project has the potential to be continued yearly to compare microplastic trends in native and invasive sea urchin species over time. Because the Mediterranean Sea is a biodiversity hotspot, the anthropogenic threat of microplastics in this region could pose a higher risk to the marine species that inhabit it. We have decided that in order to publish our research, we need 160 collected sea urchin individuals. By the end of my time in Lipsy, I will have collected over 106 sea urchins and examined them for microplastics. This project is a unique opportunity to do hands-on research in the Mediterranean Sea, where you can be the first person to study microplastics in invasive and native sea urchins. The immersion project timeline allows me to focus on completing the sea urchin dives and microplastic analysis while I am here in Lipsy, and then examine the data and focus on the results in the late summer and fall. The results can be used to create a similar study in another area of the Mediterranean Sea or be replicated by another student here at Archipelagos in the future. The impacts of the invasive species and plastics are still being studied, and this project is an excellent opportunity to get a chance to work in both expanding fields. Looking at microplastic research at Archipelagos has allowed me to combine my passion for conservation with learning new research techniques in both a local and international scale.